Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Stephen Hammer and in this video we're going to be taking a look at three different big gold belts. The first belt that we're going to be taking a look at is the all gold Groovy G big gold replica. The second belt we're going to be taking a look at is the new WWE Shop Crumron replica. And then lastly we'll take a look at my Fandu Lux uh, dual plated big gold that I just painted gold using testers paint so we're going to take a look at all three of these big gold belts with that out of the way let's get started something new that some people may not know is that the WWE shop shipped the crumb run big gold in this long rectangle looking box kind of like the old aew belts when shop aew shipped them instead of them coming in just like a cube box they came in this long rectangle box and it was kind of a pain to actually get out of the box and with the crumb run replica you do get this nice little felt crumb run logo world heavyweight title zipper bag and it just zips in the back so there you go the leather of this belt has like this rustic brown look to it it's really nice it's like reminiscent of what the original big gold looked like when rick flair had it now this belt retails on WWE Shop for $449. You can also use some codes at checkout to get it even a little bit cheaper than that. But for $449, this is a great replica. And I would almost go on par in saying that this belt is probably their best replica uh, on their website that you can buy. This is a fantastic, fantastic big gold replica, especially the classic crumb run that Ric Flair had oh my god uh, of course the nameplate does come blank at the very bottom they do not sell or offer nameplates at this time maybe in the future you might have to go to a third party or something like that to get a nameplate for the bottom of your belt but for now I'm telling you this is a fantastic replica if you're a fan of wrestling uh, from back in the day and you liked your Ric Flair's and your Dusty Rhodes I'm telling you this is the belt to get it is gorgeous. It does buckle up on the very last snap. As you can see there, that way if you want to hold it in your hands like Ric Flair used to, just like this. Taking a look at the back of the belt, all of the screws are covered up, which is really nice. You do have your, your WB Shop patch on the very back of the belt with two screws on the back for a removable nameplate. And here's what the leather looks like for Shop. Okay, now I have had this for a couple of days, so it is starting to break in, okay? But again, this is this is actually a really nice strap. It really is, it feels really good. I do not plan on getting this belt re-leathered. I, I really love the color of this strap, and I don't wanna I don't wanna risk messing that up and by getting someone else to re-leather it for me. I love the strap. To me, like this is just a fantastic, fantastic replica. Now taking a look at a belt that's a little bit higher on our list from $449. Let's talk about the $600 Groovy G Big Gold Replica. Now immediate first impressions of this belt is that it is very light. Very light. It's about three pounds. That's it. Uh, and, and it is on this vinyl strap, kind of like the old Fandu belts used to have. Uh, if some of you guys have those original Fandu belts. You have your screws showing in the back with your little vinyl strap. Like I said, Groovy G, he made this belt in mind that he knew people were going to re-leather this belt. So he kind of went the cheapest route possible for the leather. And uh, that's exactly what he did. So he went cheap for the leather so people could re-leather it. Taking a look at the main plate and the side plate, you can tell there's about a three finger gap between those two plates so you have this big old space right here now this actually reminds me of like WCW before it ended at Bash on the Beach when Jeff Jarrett had the title there was a really big spacing right here between those plates and I believe the actual belt the actual cast copy belt is at Hogan's Beach Shop if I can find pictures I'll put them up on the screen but yeah there originally was a big gap when they replaced the, the, the original big gold with an all gold copy there was a gap between those plates. So uh, when I first when I first got this and saw this, because this is not mine, this is on loan from my friend Zach Lawson. This is actually his Groovy G Big Gold. 
I actually liked it because when I threw it over my shoulder, my, my hand immediately goes here, right? To hold the belt. Normally when you hold a belt, you normally hold it at the first side plate and you can't see that side plate. Naturally, my hand wants to go in this empty space and hold the belt. And now when you're posing for a picture or whatever, you see the main plate and you see the side plate. You're not covering anything up by holding the belt. So in a way, I like that gap being there for like a person's hand to be there when you're holding the belt. See what I mean? Like you can see everything and it looks good. Also, another good thing about this belt is that because it is so light, this would be ideal to take with you to like a WWE show or just a WrestleMania or whatever, because it's not gonna kill your shoulder all night lugging around an eight pound belt like the Fandu Lux. This is actually, it's, I was actually really impressed with it. And I'm a guy that usually adds wheel weights to some of my belts to make them a little bit heavier. But if this was mine, I would leave it, I would leave it the way it is. And I know that's crazy, but even though the strap is on that faux leather strap, I don't even think I would re-leather it. I think I would leave this belt the way it was, which is kind of weird for me because I'm a little bougie when it comes to leather. I like having good leather, but I would. I think I would just leave this the way it is because like I said, it gives me that WCW vibes back in the day or when, uh, when Eric Bischoff gave the title to Triple H and there's that famous picture of him on top of the turnbuckle holding the belt up and you can see how far the spacing was with the main plate and side plates. I know little nerdy little facts, but uh, yeah, just I think if this was mine at $600, I think it is a good price because the plates are really nice. You cannot take a bad picture of this belt. So Gooby G did a good job. Like I said, the strap isn't all that great, but for me, I would leave it. For other people, I know they are re-leathering it immediately, but there you go. Leather does just fold over right on itself. Like I said, it is that faux leather simulated strap, just like the old Fandu belts. All right, so now here's where things get a little interesting. You guys remember that I've had my Fandu Lux for about a year now, I originally bought that belt dual plated and then uh, it started to tarnish on me. So I was trying to fix it up, get rid of the tarnish, all that stuff. So what I did was pretty much repaint the entire belt using gold and silver testers enamel paint. And when the WWE shop belt came out, I knew I was gonna buy that belt. So I didn't think I needed two crumb rind style big gold dual plated. So I took gold testers paint and I painted my dual plated Fandu Lux all gold with a Triple H nameplate. So now it's kind of like the Groovy G belt, but heavier and it has the trophy style nameplates and these side plates are, you know, closer together than the Groovy G one. So the Groovy G one has farther apart side plates and the Fandu Lux, they are closer together. Now I believe this belt cost about 750 for the dual plated version. I could be wrong. I'd have to look it up on their website, but I'm pretty sure it is $750 for the Fandu Lux belt. Of course, it does not come with this trophy style nameplate. It comes with the classic Crumb Rind style, but also this belt weighs eight pounds. So it is a lot heavier than the Groovy G belt as well. The Fandu Lux does snap up on the very last step in the back of the belt if you want to hold it Ric Flair style, just like this. Okay, and another thing is the screws are covered on the back of the belt, except for where you have your nameplate. So all of the screws are covered on the Fandu Lux. As far as the leather goes on the Fandu Lux, this is a thicker leather compared to their older straps or like the Groovy G belt. This is a thicker leather strap. One thing I love is just how thin that Ric Flair nameplate is on the Groovy G. I see some out there that get made and the nameplates are going to be like six millimeters big. And I just think that's overkill. This one right here looks really good. It looks really nice. It kind of just fits in perfectly. I know a lot of people are thinking right now, why would you buy a $600 belt and then have to turn around and pay about $300 to re-leather it? Well, a lot of people did that with the AEW belt that cost 
and then bought a $300 real leather strap. So, uh, yeah, in my opinion, it's worth it. Like I said, me, I would probably leave it the way it is just for my own personal taste. Next, let's move along to the Fandu Lux. Like I said, Triple H nameplate that I got from Fandu Belts. Now, originally this was dual plated and uh, I took some gold paint and just filled in some of the silver areas. The gold does not match 100%, obviously, but I wanted a gold copy for my collection because I knew I was getting this belt, so I didn't see a sense of keeping two dual plated belts. So eventually I may just repaint this belt back to uh, dual plated and then just sell it. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, the spacing between the main plate and the side plate is about one finger and over here is about three fingers. So that's the spacing differences right there. And then you come to the new WWE shop, Crumrun Big Gold Replica. Now this thing is just absolutely beautiful. It really is. It is just gorgeous. So there is a close up look at these side plates. And that is Fandu. And this is WWE Shop. The detail on this belt is just really, really nice. And one thing you guys might notice is that you have these little hash marks, as people call them, along the plating of some of the belts. That's actually normal. That was actually on the real big gold belt. Now, the hash marks are not on the Fandu Lux, and they are not on the Groovy G replica. Like I said, man, I really love this, this, this Crumb Run Big Gold from Shop. I love the color of this strap. I think it looks great. I really do. I, I just love that rustic look to it. And let me just go ahead and get this out of the way right here in the champion banner. The IO wind is like one millimeter smaller than the rest of it. That's one thing belt collectors have complained about since day one seeing this at the WrestleMania Superstore when it was up on the shelf. People bought it and then when they got it home and was looking at it, you know, looking over every single detail, they noticed the IO wind was just a little bit smaller than the rest of the, the word. So it's like a champ ion so not a big deal to me like jesus christ like this is my belt it's gonna sit on my wall i think it looks great i i love it the fandu lux was great it was great up until the wb shop came out and showed them how to do it so in my opinion go with the wb shop uh again 449 about 750 for the fandu lux and then 600 for the Groovy G replica belt. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.